What's up, fishy friends? Welcome, Tim. School of fishing class is in session. We got my purple muscle dry. Ready to do this thing. I'm excited because today I want to show you an American classic knife that was sent to me by a fellow Floridian, a friend, and a subscriber of mine. I'm really excited about this. I didn't know he was sending it. It was just a gift out of the blue, just more evidence that the knife community are some of the kindest, most generous, most thoughtful people out there. The Boy Scouts of America is an American institution. I've talked to a lot of guys in the knife community about how they got involved with knives, how they developed a love of knives, and eight out of ten of them say it all started in Boy Scouts. That's when I had my first knife and learned about camping, bushcrafting, outdoor skills, survival skills, knot tying skills. I was a Boy Scout too. Now, the Boy Scouts of America is no longer called the Boy Scouts of America. They are officially changing their name to Scouting America because they have gone completely woke. Now, I don't talk about that kind of stuff on this channel. I try to keep it to just knives but if you're not offended by truth um, or political talk religious talk or pipe smoking go check out my other channel called Tim School of Pipes I started that channel because I like to smoke pipes but I didn't want that content on this channel but over there on Tim School of Pipes not only do I talk about pipes making pipes, making pipe tobacco blends, but I also get into some politics, some religion, some truth. Uh, if you're into that kind of stuff, go check it out. If you're easily offended by truth, then that channel is certainly not for you, but I did a video recently on the Boy Scouts of America and how they are dead. It is a dead, institution just like many other institutions in the United States now the Boy Scouts of America wasn't always woke they they weren't always on the same path that they are now and a lot of us started out in Boy Scouts and we have fond memories of Boy Scouts and I'm no different my buddy D has a channel called DFK USA where he refurbishes old knives the knife that I'm going to show you today, he actually refurbished, and I'm going to pin that video to the end screen, so I encourage you to go watch that video after this one, and also subscribe to his channel. He does awesome work, and he's a great guy. So today, I want to show you this Ulster USA official Boy Scout knife that D found, refurbished, and sent to me. So, without further ado, let's get this camera turned around and take a closer look. All right, so the Ulster official Boy Scout knives first were manufactured in 1923 by Dwight Devine and Sons, and those are easy to spot because they have a federal style shield on them. Uh, as opposed to this round shield. They had brown Delrin covers. There was a few different models. Some of them had a short little Phillips head on there. Those were produced from 1923 to 1940. Then the second era of Ulster USA knives was from 1963 to 1985. Now from 1963 to 1979 they had brown Delrin covers but they had the round Boy Scouts of America shield on there from 1980 to 1984 they had these white Delrin covers on here this is exactly the type of Boy Scout knife I had when I was a kid these were made from 1980 to 1984. There's no way to tell exactly what year this particular knife was made, but a lot of people that are much smarter than me believe that these particular ones from 1980 to 84 with the white Delrin were actually manufactured by Camillus under 
the Ulster USA name. This particular pattern is pattern number 1996. The, this pattern was produced with the brown Delrin covers and the model number on this one is ULSC4G. So let's take a closer look at what we've got going on here. Our main blade here is a spear point blade with a nail nick pull on the tang there. We've got the Ulster USA stamp. On the other side of the tang, we've got nothing. Still has a decent snap to it on that same side. We've also got a can opener with a nail nick pull. Pretty good snap left on that one. On the other side, a flathead screwdriver and a cap lifter with a nail nick and also on that side a leather punch or an awl. Good snap on that one. We've got a stainless steel bale here, nickel silver bolsters and nickel silver pins and like I said we've got that nickel silver Boy Scouts of America emblem shield on that one with jig yellowish white Delrin it's kind of a creamy white it's not quite yellow but it's not perfectly white either stainless steel back springs this one's running on two separate springs brass liners awesome knife this is the exact same knife that I had when I was a Boy Scout now you can see the one that I had has almost no blade left to it it was beat up, it was abused, there's about half a blade left on that one. So, D, over there at DMK USA, I got this in the mail just the other day. He said he was on eBay, he saw this one on there, he bought it, he refurbished it, and sent it to me out of the blue, and it is just awesome. I am so happy to have this in my collection because... As you can see, this one is just almost dead. Now, I can polish it and make it look better, but to get the bale would be, you know, difficult, and the springs are just about gone. Um, there's no snap left on this at all, as you can see. So, it's in pretty bad shape. So, I'm super excited that he sent it to me. That was extremely thoughtful of him. And like I said, he did a video where he shows him refurbishing this knife, and I will pin that to the end screen. I encourage you guys to go and check that out and subscribe to his channel. He is just an awesome dude. So there you go. Just wanted to share that with you today. This is the Ulster USA official Boy Scout knife, probably made by Camillus, definitely made between 1980 and 1984. Pattern number 1996, model number ULSC4G. Guys, don't forget, I've still got the 3K giveaway round number 8 going on. I am going to draw a winner for that, not this weekend, but next weekend. So still time to enter that. Make sure you go and enter that giveaway. Also, when I get to 4,000 subscribers, I am giving away a brand new TRM Redline fixed blade never been used this is a $400 fixed blade I'm giving this one away when I get to 4,000 subscribers so you guys share my videos tell other people about my channel help me get to 4,000 subscribers because I really can't wait to give this away to one of you guys there you go boys and girls Ulster USA official Boy Scout knife just wanted to share that with you guys today as always I appreciate you for watching give me a thumbs up drop me a comment down in the comment section let me know if you've got any of these Ulster USA Boy Scout knives I know a few of you do let me know if you've got any of those 1923 to 1940 Dwight Divine Ulster Boy Scout knives because that's quite a piece if you have one of those and if you're not subscribed to the channel please consider doing so just click my logo right over there that's it for this episode of Tim's School of Fish boys and girls class dismissed